The Low Carbon Communities is a response to climate change and peak oil. We seek to work with communities, principally defined geographically, uh, and I suppose the key difference from, from other responses to these important issues is, is to seek to integrate activity in homes, in community buildings, with schools and faith groups, and also with local businesses. 1993 we started this, and uh, here we are today as a, a small brewery employing 14 local people. Pops look good today, Rob? Yeah. How's it looking up there? When we were obtaining uh, planning consent for this building, South Shropshire District Council introduced us to the Marches Energy Agency. This was designed as the most energy efficient building for industrial purposes in South Shropshire. We always wanted to install with good insulation and different technologies, but with their expertise allowed us to make it easier. The world of finance for climate change and sustainable energy remains pretty complicated. There's lots of initiatives and different programmes coming from, from all sorts of places, and our job is essentially to seek to make that simple for the end user. We've made significant energy savings. Our electricity bill is probably 20% of what it would have been. Not only is the uh, economic savings important to us, it's the ethos behind creating a beer uh, and brewing with sustainable technologies. Part of the brewery tour now is to go and have a look at the wind type and, uh, and just talk generally about energy saving or, or technologies. There's a lot of interest out there. It's a very simple turbine, as you can see. It's, it's a twin sail, a small wind turbine that will power approximately a third of our capacity. Anything that we don't use, we sell back into the grid. So we're going to have a look at the ground source heat pump, shall we? Brilliant. We take the cold water from down 100 metres below in the boreholes, we compress that, and we get 40 degree liquid, or we get 5 degree liquid. This is 26, 27 degrees Celsius, and this is a warm environment for restocking our beer to get to ferment. And that is purely from what you can generate from under the ground. Community groups are, are, are essential to success in all the projects that we do uh, and the reason we need those is because they have those local connections into that community. So if you go on to our website, the MEA website... And the aim is to provide the tools and the knowledge to that community to make informed decisions as a response to, to climate change and to peak oil. Every community will have leaders and, and I think if you can find those, those leaders and work with them then actually it will be that leadership in many respects which will carry carry that community forward to the next stage of its development on a low carbon journey. It's really that integration, it's that community response uh, which is so crucial to what we're trying to do. In, in the business sector we've had quite a lot of success in Glibri Mortimer. Probably the best examples are Hobson's Brewery and Catherine's uh, bed and breakfast at Broom Park Farm. Uh, she has changed uh, nearly 40 light bulbs and uh, installed a solar hot water system so these are direct benefits on the back of the, the project. One of the best things really is the fact that we've been able to turn the boiler off for the summer months so where we don't obviously need the heating in the summer we also don't need the hot water system. Um, it's generating enough hot water to support both the family bathroom and my two guest bathrooms. Was there um, an element of grant funding in this? The system itself was just over £3,000. We had a third of that grant funded through the Marches Energy Agency so our cost was just over £2,000. The aim is to raise the profile of what people can do in their daily lives uh, and to give them the tools and the information to do that. There really is so little understanding about how to respond in any meaningful way to climate change and fossil fuel depletion. And I think that what we have in low carbon communities is, is, is part of that solution. We've now learnt about coal and oil and gas. So we're getting close to the time when there's only about half the oil left. Shropshire County Council could just like give out free solar panels and put them on each house and it just just be easier. To say that we've been an Ashton winner I think would add real kudos to our work. I think it would be a sort of yeah we're on the right tracks here. Thank you.